Today, hundreds of South Asian New Yorkers protested farm bills affecting their families back home. They rallied outside the Indian consulate on the Upper East Side, holding signs and demanding the consulate's help to reverse the laws. The Indian government passed three bills allowing corporations to purchase crops at much cheaper prices that farmers say could destroy their livelihoods. And many of the protesters here in New York still own land in India and say that property is how their family members survive back home as they try to make a life in the U.S. Even we are an American citizen, they are fighting over here because we belong to our over there, because our brothers and sisters, our uncles, everybody, they own the land, and we are here to... Since September's far farmer and residents across India have been fighting against the government's new regulations on agriculture sales. Here in the GTA, the Indian community is rallying with families and farmers back home to show of support. You're abolishing the Monday system. So the Monday system is basically where farmers go to sell their produce. So now that you've abolished the place where farmers sell their produce, they have to deal with the corporations on their own. And corporations already take advantage, right? So by abolishing this, you're leaving farm farmers vulnerable to these corporations. Farmers there are already very discouraged because of the tear gas and all the unjust measures used against them. But if they see us supporting them, it'll uplift their steer spirits and it'll encourage them to keep fighting. Under the old system, farmers in India were able to rely on a minimum price as they first sold to the government. Now the new bills in place eliminate that system. And With you, you were part of the massive car rally that we saw this week that went from Surrey to Vancouver, supporting the farmers this week. Uh, why did you turn out for that? Why is this important to you? Uh, thank you for having me, first of all, Sonia. Uh, it's, I think it's really important for me because I grew up in Canada. I've seen my dad working in India when I was a little kid. Then, obviously, me, myself, working in the farm, picking berries, you know, doing the farm work. So it's, I went through that. So yeah, I think it was really important for me to tell the people because some people don't realize it's not only farmers suffering because of this. We all eat food every day. It doesn't matter. You could be the biggest businessman in the world or doing whatever. But at the end of the, the day, why are we working so hard to have food on our table? Right. And I think it was really impo important for me to go there and support the, 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 this great cause, this peaceful, uh, you know. Uh, Large demonstrations have been taking place outside the Indian High Commission in central London in support of a strike by farmers in India. Thousands of people have congregated on foot and in their cars to block roads in the capital, holding placards and waving green and orange flags. The British protests are part of an international show of support for a nationwide strike by Indian farmers. They oppose the government's new agricultural reforms, which critics believe will reduce minimum pricing and market regulation. 36 cross-party UK MPs have also come out in support of the farmers' agitation, according uh, and asking Dominic Raab, the uh, Foreign Secretary, to raise the matter with New Delhi. The Metropolitan Police has issued a reminder to those in attendance that strict regulations introduced by the government remain in place to help prevent the spread of coronavirus. You're watching BBC News. Our headlines. The why protests have broken out all over the world, including here in the Bay Area, as Sikh farmers say the Indian government is trying to destroy their way of life. Local Sikhs gathered at San Francisco's Land's End to begin a car caravan to the Indian consulate. They're protesting three new laws that would open the government-controlled ag market to the private sector, welcoming in corporate farming. Currently, 87% of Punjabi income is derived from small farms. The moment you start taking away farming from a society that's largely, largely farming-based, um, you will run into an issue, and that's why we're seeing such great opposition. In India, hundreds of thousands of farmers have shut down access to the Punjabi capital, and this afternoon, local protesters blocked the street in front of the consulate. You should take your flag and leave the land of the free. <laughs> 